Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the history and culture here in Patagonia. And here, as you can see, very modern, very sophisticated city. A lot of Europeans living here, so it is pretty comfortable, uh, pretty westernized for the traveler. And it's a very sophisticated culture, so people looking for nice wines, definitely available here and worth checking out some of the vineyards, uh, especially north of Santiago. But definitely this is a place not for the vegetarian. Meat is definitely king here. It's said that each Patagonian per day, this includes babies, this includes grandmothers, eats one flank of steak per person per day. This is an incredible amount of consumption of meat uh, for people. So if you don't like meat, you're going to have a little bit of difficulty down here. But the meat is quite exceptional. They say the best in the world is available here in the Patagonia region and in Argentina. So this is really what you're going to be experiencing when you get down there and possibly as well some yerba mate. Now this is a national obsession here in Chile and Argentina. If you haven't seen this before, you uh, it's a sort of like a tea where you pour tea into the gourd and you're constantly sucking out the water and refilling the tea. In fact, if you go to some of the gas stations here in Patagonia, you'll see big vats that look like this which have hot water specifically for mate. Again, this is sort of like a bit of a national obsession in this part of the world. Now, an interesting story about how this place got the name Patagonia. And, and there was a guy named Ferdinand Magellan who was an old explorer and he was traveling through this region and he got stuck here in Patagonia. And, uh, he was actually a Portuguese explorer. When he went back to Portugal, the king said, well, what did you see there? there you were there for four years. And he said, it was totally bizarre. I saw these giant men with these massive feet. He thought he saw these giant men with massive feet and the name stuck. Pada meaning feet, gonia in ancient Portuguese meaning big. So he thought he saw these massive men with these massive feet. We're still not sure what he was referring to, but again, the name did stick down here. And culturally, there is some interesting things to see down here. You've got the, of course, the gaucho, which would be like our version of a cowboy. Uh, you'll see these guys, sort of a romantic figure, going through the plains on horseback. Uh, sometimes, I mean, legend says that they still use these bolas, it's their weapon of choice, these three balls at the end of this long knotted string that they use to catch their prey. And some pretty unique animals down here as well. We have the Re Americana, which is unique and endemic to this part of the world, as well as the famous guanaco. And the guanaco, maybe you've heard of it, it's, it's a prize for its pelts, which a lot of the Bolivians, a lot of the natives use for their fabrics and their clothing. So there you go. There's a little bit about the history and culture of Patagonia. Hope you learned something. Please join me at www.kevinsworldvideotour.com. Thanks for listening.